low humans. Hi, Grandma! What's up? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, really. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an Aquarius. I'm uh, allergic to penicillin. Um, my favorite movie is Clueless. And I think that's the most important thing. I have a dog. <laughs> I kind of hopped on board this morning, so <laughs> I'm a part of, I'm along for the wild ride, I guess, just like half the people here. <laughs> really don't like coconut, so. Uh, I am very loud, and I like to have fun. What do you think of when you think of Naked Man Productions? Less clothes. Naked Man to me is, um, it's raw. Naked Man? It's just nude and packed up, just straight up, just nude um, nude um scrotum, uh, nude um orchidea, and nude um, uh, nude um flora. Uh, Naked Man is really awesome, and there's like a lot of people involved, and it's like the best. It's the best ever. So you gotta you gotta check us out. Like you know, less pants and shirts and material, and just not so much of it. Naked Man is an awesome project where everybody gets to do whatever the fuck they want and get better at it. Um, there are wonderful opportunities to, uh, I learned lighting like my first day and uh, directing and all kinds of great stuff that I'm still getting better at. Um, so th that's great, just creative opportunities. It's like Minecraft in real life. I just kind of showed up and there are bagels so that caught my attention and I decided to join. There's a lot of uh, creative energy going around, which is amazing. Um, people seem to bounce ideas uh, back off of each other, which is also amazing that there's this uh, collaborative culture going on, so that's really important. It is a creative outlet. It is a way for me to, instead of you know coming up with good ideas in my head and just being like, oh, then there they go, never to be used again, I can actually make this a reality. I can, I've got a, a good crew. We can, we've got good brainstorming, we get a bunch of people, we make videos, we put them out there, and then people, people like you watch and subscribe. I like when things just sort of happen out of thin air, and this seems to be that, so, you know. We're a lot of fun. It's just a little group where everybody gets together, everybody does everything, we're going to switch out, we're going to have people directing, people acting, people doing lighting. It's a great collaborative environment. We're all writing our own scripts. I don't know, I love it. Everybody just getting together and having a good time and just brainstorming and coming up with these really elaborate ideas and it just all comes together and becomes Naked Man. How is it different from Run, Row, Row, Run? Oh, it's entirely different. Run, Row, Row, Run was, was a solo project. It was a solo project with, you know, some hack trying to do something with a camera. Have you ever spent like a whole day looking in a mirror and just talking to yourself and by the time you're done you know you've had a good conversation but you can't remember any of it and no one was around to see it? That was Run, Row, Row, Run. Naked Man is like talking in a mirror, but then the mirror starts to talk back and you're like, I think I've gone crazy, but it's okay. So, it's the good kind of crazy. Very marketable. I think it's more of a collaborative project with a bigger goal in mind at the end. Run, Row, Row, Run was just kind of goofing around and just funny stuff to entertain the creators, but I think this is more of a long-term goal for everybody. Run, Row, Row, Run. run was a man and a camera. And this is like five men and two cameras. Uh, run, 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 run was okay, but Naked Man is great. It was, it was limited in that it was mostly about Roro or Daniel, as he's known in real life. Um, but it's, it's a very silly kind of channel. It's got a lot of fun, a lot of humor. Um, but with Naked Man Productions, we can expand that. We've got humor, we're gonna do serious things, we've got some real things. It's it's much more serious and all-encompassing, Naked Man is. Run, Row, or Run was the spark. And uh, there were a bunch of people sitting around doing nothing. That was the fuel. And then the spark ignited the fuel, and now we're a powder keg of entertainment. To me, I feel there's just a little too much Daniel FaceTime. With Row Row Run, I think people were getting a little sick of it, so reviews were going down. And, you know, we really kind of scurried to get together to 
do something or else it was just going to flounder. So, you know, we had to get Naked Man Productions together so that, you know, it didn't die. Yeah, I, I've actually been thinking about this one for a while. I would say Naked Man Productions is different from Run, 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 Run in that I've seen a couple videos from Naked Man. Uh, you know, I think I think this is its successor. This is the 2.0. This is the the new horizons, if you will. What are your hopes for Naked Man in 2016? Um, my hopes are that we can. Uh, I think that everybody can get onto a pretty professional level, and um, and start making some money at it because I think that'd be pretty sweet. That that would be validation right there. I want to get a thousand subscribers. I want to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2016. I hope that it gets bigger and better and that there's more content and that I will be in some of it and I hope I get to meet even more people and stay with these awesome people and get to work with them. I think 1,000 subscribers is kind of a low par. I think we can do 1,000 like 5 subscribers. I think that's appropriate. I think, I think, we can, I think if we really push ourselves we can get, we can get there. I kind of hope that they get pardoned by the Queen. Maybe knighted? That would be pretty cool. Just a presidential pardon, knighted by the Queen. Just internationally renowned. That'd be kind of just, just, just a start for the goals. I want us to have a bank account with a lot of money in it. I want us to have a pool so that we can buy new equipment, buy any costumes that we need, buy stuff for props. I want us to start getting profitable. Maybe some t-shirts and maybe a, a koozie or, you know, light up pins, something along that. Um, I would definitely like to expand my knowledge of production so that I can be at different parts where I'm either helping with lighting or makeup or with setting scenes or just hosting everybody and, you know, getting everybody food because everybody loves food. Um, yeah, just being able to play my part wherever it's needed, where there's a villain. That's really what I'm looking for. We're going to be funny, we're going to make you laugh, and we're going to get you to tell your friends, and your friends are going to want to watch us too. And it's going to be great. Show me a character you have in your back pocket. Okay. This is, um, this is my character. This is, uh, this is man waiting for bus. That was it. All right, so if you look here, you will see that this is actually not jewel encrusted as we had previously advertised. I'm not sure why we're still selling it, but we've got so many, we're passing them on to you. This is a dramatic pause. <laughs> Welcome to my evil lair. As you can see, there are terrible things all around us. Uh, I like to do interviews. It goes a bit like this. And then I make people talk about whatever the fuck I want them to talk about. But if you don't buy it, they'll find you. And I'll sell you even more products. And you will not stop hearing from me until you've bought everything I have to offer. You want my shirt, you want my baby, you can have it. I walk into my boyfriend's bedroom one day and I can't find my clothes. And this girl, Emily, comes around the door and she's wearing my tights and she's wearing my boots. And she's wearing my scarf. And that can only mean one thing. I hate to do this, I'm sorry. Uh, have you seen the bus station? Uh, there, I, I was trying to ask this other guy where the bus was, he got so pissed off and he just stormed off. He kept saying, shit. <sighs> she shops at the same stores as me. I just got off the Atkins diet and I gained so much weight, they're gonna call me fat Albert again and I just got skinny Sal. And I don't wanna go back to that place. I don't wanna go there. I've been there, it's done. I don't wanna go back. Don't make me go back, this is new year. Skinny Sal, I'm gonna stay skinny. I'm gonna be a minimum. We're a, we're a tribe of naked mans. <laughs> you watched the videos. Thank you for that. And we hope you watch more of the videos that we make. We're going to get part in. It's going to be great. And I hope you're watching so you can be a part of that moment too. So I was there and they made history. You could do it. I sure hope I see you soon.
If, if you're watching, good for you. Your, your life is a little bit improved if you're not. Uh, type in Naked Man on your search engine and let everyone find out. Thanks for showing up at My Naked Peoples, and uh, I hope to see you next time, right here, same time, same place, on Naked Man Productions. If you have a dog, we want it. I guess uh, that was an interview. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Now come and party with our little terrible things, and we will make you a convert. What's the name of that character? Um, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs>